friends, Techman Pat here. Today we're going to do a quick video on how to use this J5 Create live capture adapter to record a Raspberry Pi. So why would you want to do this? Well, first of all, let's say you're doing a tutorial on how to do a Pi hole uh, for your home network to block ads and you want to record the step by steps on your computer so you can show the audience on YouTube how it is done. Well, that's exactly what I'll be doing. So I wanted to show you how I'm going to connect the system. So you might have seen the video on how to put together this really cool Raspberry Pi 4, this case that it comes with. This is a, just a Logitech keyboard uh, that I've got here on the side uh, plugged in on the USB. It has a fan. It has a uh, passive cooling inside. Obviously, the fan then gives the air and it also has the little bits here cut out to make sure that you can plug things in. So have a look at that video. I'll post it in here, but today we're going to try and connect this. This is a live capture adapter from J5. So let's talk about that for a little bit because I think that's probably one of the important tools uh, in this getup. So what is this really used for? Well, usually you'd connect it onto your camera. So it's very lightweight. It's very, very simple. And actually, I like that about it. And I'll talk about why it's nice and simple. You can also connect your PlayStation or anything that has an HDMI out so you can record it onto your computer. Now, we're going to be using OBS. This is free. This is about $100. Um, obviously, it's not cheap. Um, but what it does is a couple of cool things. So we'll go through the features in a second. First of all, it does 1080p, right, at 60 frames. Perfect for streaming games, uh, console games, because they don't, none of them hit 4K really. And if they do, you're probably pushing your luck anyway. Uh, if you're gonna wanna stream 4K, then you're gonna have good internet and you're probably not gonna be using this. This is more for those, I guess, amateur or new people, or people just wanna stream at 1080p 60, which I still think would be absolutely fine. Also, if you've got a camera and you wanna mount it, you've got a little mounting bit over here at the bottom. Um, on the side, we have a power in, so this is your power and you've got a host so this is actually goes to your computer on here on the side you've got a Hey, ability to actually mix vo uh, the uh, volume that's coming in or rather the microphone with the HDMI so obviously HDMI sound comes through from your device and so you can decide well okay I, I actually want to mix my HDMI with my microphone that's connected here so there you go I can talk and stream straight to OBS now the one thing that I find a little bit annoying about this is that there's no HDMI uh, out to actually go to another screen or a device so it's in, in straight into here but if you put this in on your nice computer you can play it on your screen which is just actually another way to play games on your screen which is also pretty good in any case OBS it has the ability to record and stream so you'll be able to do both now how do we connect it well we need a couple of things. Now this laptop here that I'm gonna be demonstrating on has a USB-C plug. So the USB-C plug that I'm gonna be using is for power. So if I type into here and tap power and I plug it into here, which has a USB-C, that's gonna give it power. And then secondly, I need to do the plug for the actual um, data, right? That's also important. So I grab my USB-B and USB-C cable and I'm so happy that this device has USB-C. I mean, that's so good. Um, that it has it like after all New devices don't necessarily get it all the time. So we'll plug that in also you'll see Windows is now popping up with uh, Bits and pieces here that it's connecting display uh, might be limited. I'm not sure what that means uh, Not for us anyway, so that's connected now. We need an HDMI in now the thing with the Raspberry Pi 4 is that it doesn't actually have a full-size HDMI. So what you're going to have to do is actually get one of these adapters. This is a HDMI, so a full-size HDMI, to a micro HDMI. So on a Raspberry Pi, you've got two micros out and we're going to plug that into here. That's one and that's going to go straight into the in bit right here. So what we've done, we've just connected the HDMIs. Now, the next thing we really got to do is actually just do the power because as soon as we power it on, um, we'll be able to see stuff on the screen. And the best way to do that is just to plug in the USB-C. The light will come on and we are now connecting. So let's have a look over here. All you have to do is navigate to the plus over here and select video capture in your sources. That's well, that's exactly what we need to do. So when we do select it, just press OK. You can name it. You can select the camera and I can wave to the camera. Hello. And what you're going to do is on the screen here, you'll select JS capture. Now, the good thing about JS, this thing right here, is that it requires no software at all. Windows recognizes it straight 
away. Select that and that's it. We are now capturing the desktop of the Raspberry Pi, which is absolutely fantastic. We can now record, we can do all sorts of things with it. Uh, which we're going to be doing is that tutorial that I'm talking about, the Pi Hole. Now the good thing about this is not only can you stream, but the quality that you stream at is 1080p at 60 frames. So friends, if you would like to see what this is all about, I'll put the link below um, where you can get it. I'll also put the link where you can get this really awesome case for your Raspberry Pi and obviously the Raspberry Pi, which is both of them from Amazon. And thank you very much to uh, J5Create for sending me this, uh, this device right here because this is not gonna be the only video that we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be using this to do the tutorials and we're gonna do a little bit of camera streaming. So friends, thank you very much for watching this quick little video. I uh, hope it was interesting and I'll catch you guys in another one. Bye.